Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the Milo Show. This is actually a two-personal one. Oh, yay. Kind of rare, I think. Da, 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 um, da, 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 da. That isn't a quick topic. So today's topic is sensitivity. Because mm. I was, I was going to do another topic instead, but I made it a quick topic because I realised it's not really one you can talk a lot about. Um, so I'm saying sensitivity because a lot of people are sensitive to the way the world works with Wait. PC, nature, and culture, and just because they're, you know... A special have, snowflakes. Um, special, well, the special stuff is and the people who actually get hurt by are, certain... Are, are you stuff. male? What gender are you? I'm just a male. Good. How, how many genders are there? Um, as many as there are devices in my hands. That's, that's just too... <laughs> Don't tell anyone. That's, it's that's, a secret. That's, okay, let's, let's talk about that first, because that's just one of the things that... Well, let's talk about that. The internet culture thing where they talk... where we have, you know, more, multiple genders and... Like, I'm perfectly fine with people having different, like, sexual yeah. identities and whatnot, and... Dyson air conditioner. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's also, like, um, yes, we will do some mocking stuff. Think of yeah. it more of a satire, let's be honest, yeah. Yeah, um, I also... We're going to be honest, but also... I have I'm fine whatever you think you are, but, like, it's getting a bit ridiculous in my opinion, and I... I, I, I think just with, the, like, the multiple genders thing, I'm thinking that's a bit... Just someone just has fruit loose. Because there's 67 of them. And there could be 170 something. Really? There's just two. Yes. Because science, bitch. That's what I say to religion. Science, bitch. Science. That's what I say when I watch Breaking Bad. Science, bitch. I'm sorry, that's actually a genuine quote from Breaking Bad. Mm. Good show. Anyway, um... So yeah, a lot of people like that. It's very uh, picky about that, 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 that stuff in there. I'm very again, I'm, sensitive. I'm totally fine with people being like, you know, like, being yeah, I, bisexual and gay and whatever and whatever other yeah, sexual like, identities they have. I'm totally cool with that. I'm but the and I'm totally cool if someone's like say transgender or something, mm. so if they actually think that they're not think if they know that they're not gender, so yeah. that way, uh, if, if they're, they're fluid not, and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, if they're fluid or if they think they're like say they're like a girl inside a guy's body, that's cool. But yeah. but the multiple gender thing just seems a bit when, when you're being excessive. a moon gender or a um a it seems like someone just was born on tumblr and yeah. just nearly got off it tumblr just exploded yeah it's like being sensitive yeah that's fine like things that have happened in your life which you're sensitive about about like things like you're really proud of and you don't want people to be mocking and that sort of thing and like being upset when when like you get something very special broken and being very sensitive about that sort of thing, but like being, I am being oppressed constantly by men, all men, all white men, sorry, and that sort of thing is just being ridiculous, and like it's just so dumb right now. Like everyone's being yeah. sensitive about their race and how they're being oppressed and their gender and how men are terrible. And yes, you can make the argument of like, oh, we're well, white males, we don't have anything problem with this, because... Did you just we... assume my gender? <laughs> I'm a <laughs> Dyson's air conditioner, you can be okay, quiet. Okay, fine, because there's one white male sitting here, it's... Do, I, it's... do I not have to worry about the stuff because I'm not, say, female, or black, or, a, you know, a lesbian, or gay, or whatever, you know, some other something else? I just don't give a shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm, hope, I'm happy for you to be whatever the hell you want to be, or whatever the hell you just, are. Just don't make me correct. Don't just don't correct me. Just don't be an idiot. Just, just don't make me have to memorize all these special genders or oh, special I, snowflakes. Unless I really want to do that, like unless I re like, I don't think the genders. It's like you're my close friend. I can understand. It's just like the whole thing with the pronoun thing. How the fuck does that work? Like, if you don't know. You're gonna no, assume it's, it. It's like watching the fucking episode of um, the the film of uh, the Futurama, the Beast of a Billion Backs. You know, <laughs> like the, they change the pronouns to like shli and slur. Yeah, like and it's just like if I I never really caught that as a, as a kid, but now thinking about it, I'm like fucking hell. Like, see, I have long blonde hair, and I've been honged at by a truck <laughs> with my friend. It was like it was really funny because there were two just really pasty Asian guys in the truck and they just drove past waving and honking their horn and I just waved back and I was like huh yeah that's, that's not fun and, and then um, later along the street this was on a big like busy like main street 
and lay, lay it on the street, um, a bunch of mates in their ute, and I just wink at one of them as a joke. <laughs> and then the whole just ute just goes, hello, really loudly at each other because they got winked at by a pretty blonde. I am a pretty blonde, aren't I? What about sensitivity with, say, uh, racism? Oh, racism. Um, racism isn't fun. Yeah. Of course, like, we. I love it too when people say, like, oh, white people can't, you know, be, you know, they can't. What is it, um, like, say, what is it, like, white black people, people can't be racist and white people can't be offended by racism? But, well, yeah, yes, like, racism is racism. Yeah, because um, it's not exactly towards, it's not always to do with the colour of your skin, it's also to do with your actual, uh, you know, your nationality. So say, like, we could call it racist if someone calls Australians just big guzzling didgeridoo that's players. That's because we are. Sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're all beer, we all drink VB and no, we get yeah, attacked by truck bears. Can and I just prove you Australian? You, you get your thong, you open a can of beer and you just drink the beer off the thong. But you got to make sure you drink, you, you got to make sure you're holding up on a stubby. Yeah. Um, you, you, you got your stubby holder, your tactical stubby holder on your that's belt. That's branded by some football team. Right next to your knife. Only football team. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, this, this Sorry, I need to make a tactical stubby holder when I get home. <laughs> but no, I think I think when it comes to racism, I think just it just shouldn't exist. But again, it's just that idea of like, but this is always a thing that's going to come with free, freedom of speech. Yeah, someone's always going to say something that offends someone else. But again, it's one of those things where you take offense, someone that you don't give offense. So unless you're purposely like trying to insult someone, that's because you're insulting them. But if you're actually like. Just- if yeah. you just accidentally offend them by saying something as a joke, like just like, not saying that, like that all people who say that, that all people that say like that say something racist is a joke. It just could. It, it depends on the context. Yeah, but like to do with gender and assuming people's genders in public, and you say, Ex- "Excuse me, ma'am," to um, a transgender woman who thinks they're a man, yeah, um, and they get offended at that. You don't know them. You you don't know yeah. what they sexually identify as. So you make the best guess you can. Yeah, I'm, I'm you make not... usually the guess by appearance. Like I've seen, yeah. like even TV shows where there's a character who looks like a girl but also looks like a guy, and because like it's one of those things where they're gonna have like a, a voice actor or something, like say like it's a video game or something, even where there's no voice, it's just text. You don't know if they're a girl yeah. or a guy. Like so Bimo, Bimo in Avenge Time is genderless. They, he gets re- no, it gets referred to as a he and a her at multiple times, and even the writers have acknowledged the fact that Bimo doesn't have a gender yeah. and like. It is voiced by a... Isn't it voiced, is it voiced by a girl? Um, I assume so. Honestly, yeah, I, I, but even I like, know. You can even say, like, oh, because it's voiced by a girl, it must be a female. No, Ash Ketchum is voiced by a woman, and... Most... Is a boy, because women can do voice, voices really Most much. young... Yeah. Most young boys in um, cartoons and voice acting are voiced by girls who can sound like a young boy. Because it's because they have lower frequency voice, so it's much easier to sound like a child. So if you get a young boy to do a young boy voice in Adventure Time, say, because they do, he's slowly getting older. So the character in the cartoon is slowly getting older. Yeah. And if you get a girl um, to do the voice, um, like an older lady, um, to do the voice of a young child, her voice will stay the same and not change. So, yeah. Unless, of course, they get a different voice like the frat, uh, in a different season of the show or something. Um, um, people being sensitive about calling their shows or their, um, what their media they um, watch, like anime, manga, all that, um, and getting super offended and um, by you saying, oh, I don't like that, and then being super sensitive, oh, you're not allowed to say that, it's amazing, it's art, you can't say that. It's like the, um, when, with the Ghostbusters thing, if people say that they're, that they're not going to watch the film or that they don't like the film, people are calling them sexist. It's um, like, no, maybe because they just don't like the film because it's not a good film. If you don't watch the film, you're a sexist. Yeah. If you don't like it and you're a man, you're a sexist. Um, if you're a woman and you don't like it, you're a traitor. Um, I've watched the movie. It's... It's crap. Um, the storyline makes no sense. But again, it's, it's just his personal opinion. Yeah. I mean, everyone else could think it's crap, then it's a, um, it's a, a it's, whole opinion. But it's not because it has women as the main characters. It's because the story is crap. And they actually got... The, the movie was meant to break stereotypes and meant to be progressive and all fancy, and they got um, a generic people like the crazy lesbian, the um, nerdy white girl, the loud black lady, the other nerdy fat white girl who can't, who's lazy, 
and can't run, and that sort of thing. Yeah. So they they for a film that's meant to be that's meant to be like progressive. Progressive. Yeah. It enforces stereotypes. It's even like there's a film. I was watching an essay about the film Passengers because I watched it a couple of weeks back. Yeah, this is a film a long time ago. Um, mm. It is not a good film. I mean, it has some decent effects, and the acting is nice. The comedy is great because it's fucking Chris Pratt. Of course, it's going to be great. Yeah. But the film itself is very lousy. Um, but apparently, I, I just found out like after I watched it that it was actually advertised as like a feminist film, like oh, like because uh, Jennifer Lawrence was getting paid more for doing this uh, than this film that Chris Pratt was. But then you're like, why the fuck would she be paid more when she isn't even in the first half an hour of the film? And like, there's this whole thing of like, oh, she gets. She gets paid more, but she works less days. So, like, that's why she doesn't. You know, there's, there's certain it's aspects like that with, say, um, equal pay, which we're not going to go into. Yeah. But um, with the film, they were advertising it as this like feminist kind of propaganda type film, yeah. and yet when you watch it, it is so far the opposite. Like, literally, the reason why spoilers, but again, why would you watch it anyway? The only reason why um, Jennifer Lawrence's character actually wakes up is because of Chris Pratt wakes her up because oh, he's movie. been alone for a year and he's like oh she's hot let's wake her up maybe we can screw her of course they do oh, and like even when she finds out that like that he's done this to her and he's literally murdered her as she says which technically is correct because she can't go back to sleep because he broke her pod um she 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 ends up still saving his life and she's like let's stay in love because we are totally still in love yeah because i have no other choice I because could wake movie up with, logic. I could wake up a different hot guy, but like I don't want to kill them as well. Yeah, it's there's there's so much to do with that film, which was just so stupid for that for the idea of of, of with feminism and whatnot. And like even apparently a lot of people didn't watch Rogue One because they thought it was feminist propaganda. Nope, it's just a Star Wars film. It's Star Wars that you have to watch if you've seen well that you can only really enjoy if you've watched A New Hope or the prequels. Like, or the ori- any of the original trilogy, at least watch a fucking Star Wars film, so you know what the hell the Force is, and you know what their what the Death Star is, and all this kind of stuff. Because there's a lot of context not in that film. Mm. Again, um, not something we would go into, but the idea that people thought there was a Thanos propaganda film, so it didn't get a lot more money in this opening weekend because of that aspect. Um, the main character is a woman. It's fine. It's nothing special. Yeah, it um, doesn't really make a difference. It's just because it like it's because she's a woman. Does it make a different film? No. No. I mean, maybe if she was a guy, she might be like maybe a bit more aggressive. It depends yeah. on what kind of stereotype they went with for the character. But no, she's she's fine. There's like, nothing wrong with her. She's a good actress, and there's a like all of her friends wrong. in the movie were dudes. But like, yeah. There's only one. Like it's like not sexist. Like it's not a bad movie in that way. It's not feminist propaganda. Um, it's just a fucking Star Wars film. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's Star Wars. And, what, and, what and it's, it's just like when people are arguing about, say, the um, uh, Ocean's Eight. What's that? It's a prequel to. It's. I think it's a prequel spin-off or just a spin-off. You know how they made Ocean's Eleven, Twelve, and Thirteen. It's a heist movie. It's a heist trilogy. It's based on the original Ocean's Eleven, or I think it's Ocean's Ten, uh, know, um, which know. came back out. came out in like the sixties or some shit. Really good film. I don't know if they made a series of it or what, but they made the the, the modern day ones has like George Clooney and Matt Damon. And it has like not many lead female characters, um, except for Julia. Roberts. Is it Julia Roberts who no, plays yeah. herself in the film, which is quite funny? Um, well, she plays someone who looks like Julia Davis and uh, Julia Roberts in the film, which is really funny. But anyway, um, they've made a, they're doing a spin-off thing, which is the whole cast instead of all being guys is all being girls. But are they going to do something different with the film? Again, by this stage. We haven't watched it. They haven't given us a trailer for it. They're still casting and stuff. But like, is it gonna be? Is is the aim of the film to be progressive? Like, oh, it's an all female cast. It's a feminist film. Whatever. Which there's nothing wrong with feminism, but is it actually gonna be a good film? You know, you might want to try doing a progressive film when it's actually a good film and yeah. it actually makes. And so when you get out cinema, you're not like, hmm, that was a shitty film. You'll actually be like, hmm, yeah, females can do better than than male actors. I don't know, some shit like that, you know. The fuck's the aim of the, What's the point of it? Yeah. Um, uh, it's, I'm, I'm just tired of that. I'm just tired of the, the, the politically charged films. Yeah. Why can't you make a film that's just because it's fucking art? 
Because it's Jesus a, Christ. Why can't you make a film about a story that you wanted to tell? That actually makes sense. And that's actually, you could maybe educate or incite someone or is new and original. This uh, is what I get sensitive about. <laughs> yeah, How yeah. fucking shit films uh, can have you, you were sensitive about, about films. What's your favourite film? I don't have a favourite film. Damn it, I can't tell you. Well, your favourite film sucks, that's what. Well, I, I can't <laughs> have a favourite film because every film I've watched... I mean, some of them are alike, but like... Even my favourite films... I can't even think of what some of my favourite films are because I've seen so many fucking films over the past 18 years of my life that I can't think of anything that's pretty my favourite. Like, I've had favourites at a period, like, say, Birdman was my favourite for, uh, for a while there. But, like, I don't know. I mean, the, the series of unfortunate events, the film, yeah. which is not the best film in the world, but it's not the worst either, but I fucking love that film. Mm. And I always did as a kid. I was, like, my favourite film as a kid. There's this story shit like that, which is, this is your favourite. Like, it's not, I'm not going to this... But, I don't like the idea of categorizing what my favorite film is because it's just. I don't know. I think probably my favorite film so far is, is um, and that's only so far because then if you say it's my favorite film, it's a permanency kind of thing. Yeah. Swiss Army Man was probably my, one of my favorite films, but. Well, Swiss Army it's, Man it's a great, sucks. It how does it it's make a, you feel? It, a lot of people don't it. like it because of how like it's about a fighting corpse. It's really more than that. If you look into the film, oh that movie, sorry. it's a really funny film. It's a really well done film. It's weird and creepy. It's weird and creepy, but yeah. everything about it is beautiful. I've seen it four times and I fucking love it. I, I, I've I, even seen it, someone t- t- uh, analyze it as a as a film talking about trans, uh, a transgender person trying to come out, and like <coughs> the thing is, uh, it works. It's one of those films that you can put so many interpretations onto. It could literally just be a film about a fighting corpse that saves a guy's life. Think of it like that, or think of it as a transgender film, or you know something that has a message, but something that's not shoving it in your face. Yeah. It's there, but it's not shoving it in your face. People aren't as thick as movie producers think they are. Some yeah. people are. Too many films are made for stupid audiences, but a lot of the audiences these days aren't that stupid. Yeah. Unless, as some, as I know someone who's like, oh, except for Americans, they're so stupid. I'm like, that's kind of wrong because they. That's a stereotype in its own right of people saying that Americans are stupid. Not all of them are, but that's the same thing as saying like that's like Australians are stupid. Not all of them are. Australians Everyone drink beer. Stupid to a level. Everyone has it a It depends on your education, value. on how much you can actually fit in your brain if you have a disability or something. So yeah, last time I checked, not all of the people in America were I don't know, autistic or something to a level where they can't remember what two plus two means. So they're not all stupid. Like, sens- not everyone's stupid. Sensitivity. It's a thing. Yeah. On YouTube, there's a lot of it. There's, there's a lot of hate, like, especially fucking, what is it, the... If you watch H3H3, H3, H3, they go on about say, videos, like, say, from, like, the... Recently, in, like, tw- in December of 2016, they had the whole thing with the man-spreading and the... Um, oh, man-spreading. Like, bo- the, what we're both doing now... That's a bit excessive. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm a man. I can do what I want. So like, <laughs> can I get back in the kitchen? <laughs> um, but like, just sitting with your legs apart. It's, it's not that bad. If, to be honest, it's also not bad to do this, but you can, you know... If you're doing aggressive man splitting when you're just getting right up in their grill... Oh, just, just do a topic on aggressive man splitting. <laughs> <laughs> this is this technically could be our topic on um, aggressive man spreading. Don't do it. It hurts your inner thighs. Yeah, no. If you, if you really go like this, unless you're a fucking sumo wrestler, like, you don't do it. Like, but like I don't. It's one of those things where it's just like man spreading isn't to annoy the person next, to, you. next to you. Unless of course you're doing a like in, excessive in, to a, to a excessive man spreading. Like, I was doing this when you when when, when literally we said the word man spreading. I'm like, all oh, right, I'm doing this with my legs. I didn't like, even realize I was doing it. It's, it's it's just a thing that you do. Um, like, you, you do the arm and you kind of hunch over. That's because you're sitting forwards and you're not, you're not going to sit like, yeah, like it's, this. It's, it's comfortable. It's like, I'm happy to sit like this if I, like, I'm like a video student or some shit, but at the same time, I've got to make sure like that I have a good amount of space that my junk is comfortable. You, you don't want crushed junk in the morning. Nobody likes that. No. Um, but, like, it's a thing. People, like... Oh, what was the thing I was going to say? I can um, understand why people complain about it. Like, I'm going to say women in particular complain about it because they 
If you I mean, to be honest, I don't think like women women are better than men or men are better than women. I think they both is, suck. I, I think yeah, I think Dyson's air conditioners will win. Air conditioners are better. <laughs> that's 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 my true belief in life. So like I don't know, everyone has their shitty problems. Like we, we, we have things hanging from below us. Women have a period once a month, you know. We all we all have our shit. And it just sucks, but welcome to being a human being. That's what happens. Life sucks being human. I mean, how else do you want to reproduce by... Being air conditioner. Doing it in someone's eyeball or something? I don't know. Skull fucking. Or lay... Do you want to lay eggs and then have someone inseminate that or some shit? We're not fucking salmon. Speak <laughs> for yourself, <laughs> man. Someone with the salmon. Well, someone with the air conditioners. I identify as actually attack helicopters, so... Do you need a pilot? <laughs> I'll, I'll be your pilot any time. <laughs> I love I I love how many people joke about this shit. It's it's so it's so great. Like I I love it when it is like a sensitive topic of being racist or sexist or homophobic. Of course, the, to a level of like it's in the name of comedy. If you're actually genuinely being sexist or racist or homophobic, it's not cool. Yeah. But like if it's um, but it's it's just a but again like then there's the argument freedom of speech and stuff where it's like you're allowed to say whatever you want to say but again you can't say that one thing say it, know who your audience is and within context yeah so if your context is the fact that, that I'm sitting next to a white male we can say we we might joke about um, being white about being white or may joke about um, I don't know the black people getting killed in America, you know, we could, but we're not going to because we're not insensitive assholes. You know, we we value people's lives as well, you know, but, but like, it's just that idea of, you know who your audience is. If you know who your audience is, then you'll know who to make a joke about. Like, say, like, Jimmy Carr makes very offensive jokes, but he knows that his audience appreciates that. If you're going to go to a live show for Jimmy Carr and he's going to say offensive shit and you're not going to get triggered, then why the fuck did you go to a Jimmy, go see Jimmy Carr? Like, the fuck is wrong with you? If you, if you, you don't go there for the name, you go there because you know the kind of comedy you're going to get. Mm. And you've got to appreciate the kind of comedy that you're going to get. So it's just that kind of thing. Yeah. Context, audience, it's just no. Stop being sensitive. That, that's the end of what, the show. What about people who aren't sensitive at all? Like, they don't give a shit. That's They're complete assholes. They don't give a shit for everyone else. YouTube commenters. <laughs> well, they're just people who don't know what fucking grammar is. No, yeah. Um, like, you need to be sensitive. He also time. doesn't know what grammar is. Who? who? What about my grandmother? <laughs> your, gra- your grammar. Your grammar is horrible. It can I'm be. Genuinely, I genuinely hate it. There's something that I see on Facebook. Oh, that yeah. I just that, can't fucking see th- This morning, like, I was totally having really hard to sleep. I'm like, are you f- I'm like, go away. Don't, don't, don't talk. Don't message. Don't post on Facebook if you can't spell. I mean, sometimes, yeah, I actually don't know something. I'm going to purposely do it I, I'm dyslexic. I, I spell no good. I, I'm i just not good at English. How are you dyslexic? I've been dyslexic my whole life. It's not like a decision I made. I don't choose to be dyslexic. Hey, hey, I have a friend who's autistic and I never knew until like, until, like, until, like the end of last year. Like, literally, like, one of the last days of high school, I found this out. But I didn't find it out from him. I found it out from a documentary he made about himself. For, for the media class. I'm like, wow, okay, I had no idea. But like, I don't know, he's just like, well, for some people, it's ob- uh, people obviously know, but it's not something he he makes a big deal about. Mm. He just happens to be autistic. I'm just like, I had no idea. Right. Yeah. But yeah, it's like, look, I, I, I probably don't have any problems. My only problem is that I wear glasses. I complain about that because I have the right to, because I wear glasses. Do you know how yeah. annoying I wearing glasses? I, I, I don't I give was... a fuck if it makes me look smart. I wear glasses, but like I, I'm not. And like glasses, are fine. I don't have to wear them constantly, so I'm happy. Wait, so what is dyslexia? There's some dyslexia, dyslexia is um to do with a bunch of things, either math, reading, or spelling and writing. Um, I'm I can't remember how to spell words. I just have really a lot of trouble spelling words. And um, reading, I used to be really bad at. Now I'm perfectly fine. Some people have um. When reading, it looks like the words are moving and stuff, supposedly. Oh, yeah. I only get it where I just add in extra words and miss out other ones when I'm reading. I'm reading. Um, but, like, people call me, a, like, use it as a direct choice. And I'm like, so I'm dyslexic. I can't spell no good. That's fine with me. And, like, I'm perfectly fine. Like, 
it was like, oh, you can't spell. Oh, okay, thanks. I know. Yeah, it's it's like when I when I look at say like YouTube comments or Facebook comments and stuff or posts or whatever, and people will can't spell properly. I'm I'm not going to assume that they're they're, they're say like dyslexic or they have some kind of inability to breathe out a properly smell a spell even though exactly. But like, I'm, I, I, I don't, like, of course, maybe I don't know the person at all, or maybe I do know the person, and sometimes, like, say, with, with Pink Salad here, I'll be like, okay, it's fine, at least I can still read the fucking words. Yeah, and I try. But, like, if, 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 it's, if it's someone I don't know, I'm just going to assume that they can't, that they type so much shit, or they type it on the device or whatever, that they don't, it doesn't autocorrect, or they, they don't really take a look at what they've just written before they post it. Like sometimes I will look over everything I've read, uh, I've I've written, but sometimes my brain will fill in the blanks, or I've spelled a word the wrong way. So like say was I spelled W S A, and I don't even realize until I sent it. I'm like, oh fuck! I just realized I've spelled that incorrectly. Who cares? The person still knows what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah, as long as you're getting the message through. Yeah, as long as you get the message through, that's usually the point. But it's just it can just be irritating sometimes when someone doesn't write correctly. I'm sorry. Yes, it's, it's fine. I mean, like, it's like you have a legitimate excuse. Yeah. I'm just sometimes misread or whatever. So yeah. I mean, if it's like excessive, like if it's like one word or like just one piece of incorrect grammar or something like that, then sometimes you can kind of tell it's a mistake. Yeah. But if it's like something like every single word you spell is the complete wrong way, like say you write every single word there as like instead of saying their stuff, you say it's over there kind of stuff. Like yeah. If you yeah. get your fucking words wrong. And constantly in one, either one sentence, one paragraph, one whatever. Some people are really sensitive about you correcting their spelling, um, and like I can understand that as well. I say one of my dyslexic friends, like said, "Hey man, I'm dyslexic as well. Like I know you mean. I want to try and help you get better." And like I would, like, "Hey man, it's there instead of there. Just letting you know and all that." And like he got really upset at me because like he was sensitive about it. Yeah. And like that's perfectly fine. It's like something kind of embarrassing, kind of not. And um, it. Like, you can try and help people, and they can be like, ah, oh, no, I don't want it. It's, and they can be like, insulted and stuff. And then, like, you, you take a step back. They're your friends. But people on the internet, you, you don't be polite to them when they're sensitive, and, like, they get even more upset and more sensitive and that sort of thing, which is not good. But you don't know them, so you don't have to deal with the consequences and that sort of thing. Yeah, it's. I think it's an overall for sensitivity. You're gonna get. I hate to really say it the word, but you're gonna get triggered by something. Eventually, like even I can, like I'm not say, or I'm not autistic or disabled in any form of way, unless of course you count the fact that I wear glasses because I'm short-sighted. But like I don't, I don't get offended if people call me four eyes or make jokes about me being short-sighted, man, because it does. hasn't happened much in my life. But not enough that that's what I get upset by. I don't give a fuck. Mm. I live with it. Who cares? Um, I mean, they 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 could have a dead parent for why for why know, so they'd be bullying me because they can. And I'm just like, I don't care. I could make a joke about your dead mum. I'm not going to because I'm not yeah. a dick. When, um, when you or I do because it's I, I do it out of pure sarcasm. Oh, like yeah. kind of showing them like this is what you're trying to say. For me, it, you, what you're saying doesn't affect me, but I could say something that is <coughs> just as genuine and it could affect you much more. Mm. So just know your audiences. Yeah, know your audience. Be, be polite, be nice, be good. If not, don't get caught. <laughs> if not, don't get caught. <laughs> Just say something really shitty, delete Facebook account. Ha <sighs> ha, they'll never know. Yeah, they'll <laughs> never know. Just burns computer around the uh, place to Alaska. <laughs> they will never know. <laughs> no, it's like you just leave a really mean comment and then you just log out of Facebook. They'll never know it was me. No, just <laughs> log into Facebook on incognito mode. <laughs> but, uh, be nice. And yeah. if yeah, and if you, again, if you're gonna joke, if you're gonna be say insensitive, maybe if it's if it's out of pure sarcasm or it's or satire or it's not at all, then then just know your audience, know if they're gonna get offended by it or not. So like say like ask them like like if you want to make a joke about someone's dead mom, be like oh do you have a dead mom or like is, 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 or do you know someone who has that like because you could feel respect for that person because like. Like I was saying before, I, I don't get affected by, like, um, like, I, I mean, read people, like, m mocking, say, like, autistic people, stuff like that, disabled and whatever, and I'm going to feel bad for those people, for the, for the, for the people who are being mocked and, and offended, because, like, if this person is being genuine, saying, like, say, like, oh, you know, 
gays are cancer and that kind of stuff, but they're being genuine, then I'm just like, that's not right, you know? Like, I can see someone, I can see something in a TV show or a film or on a comment section or whatever that I could ju just see as insensitive to someone. And to a level, I hate that. I hate mm. that I can understand what's insensitive, so then I can't enjoy it. Unless, of course, they are being, they are joking. But then sometimes, again, you don't know if someone's, mm. you can't always tell by tone if someone's joking unless you really completely know, or rather they're, they're a comedian or some shit. But it just depends. Sometimes it, it might not be your day to laugh at an autistic person. Mm. As, 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 as an autistic person, as a joke, you know. I don't really know how to word that properly. <laughs> Don't, you don't laugh at the person. You laugh at the joke that someone said about the person. If it's a per, if it's you know, like in the right context. Like, but you don't have to laugh. If you don't laugh, yeah. like I've had days where I just don't laugh at a joke that someone said about a disabled person because I'm always like, it's not, it's, it's not like it's not the day, it's not the day for me to see a joke like this and to enjoy for a joke. I'm gonna see it and be like, yeah, it's not cool. Yeah, it's not cool. Cool. Yeah. Still. Yeah, that should be it. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I mean, there's a stuff, fuck ton of shit you can talk about sensitivity. Oof. But I think the broader we go, the less specific we have to be. Yeah. It's good. Because, yeah. So, um, yeah, moral of the story. Be nice. Be nice. And if, if you're going to make a joke, know your audience. Know your context. Be good. If not, don't get caught. And if you're going to go on a fucking comment section, know the context. So, if you're going to make a joke, know the audience. If you know the audience isn't that kind of audience, be nice. And if you're going to start rambling about some bullshit that you think this person's saying, know, know the context. Otherwise, keep just making a fool of yourself. This has been Pig Tailed. I've been Mr. Mindless. Thank you for watching this episode of The Mindless Show for Sensitivity. Feel free to like, share, subscribe for more Mindless Show, more anything. I don't know. More Mindless. More Mindless then. Subscribe for less Mindless. <laughs> Subscribe for the less miles where talk we talk we we talk in does and uhs and all that kind of that kind of stuff. Yep. Because we're mindless. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna go eat some potatoes. Just yeah. solid potatoes. Solid potatoes, yeah, of course. One solid potato. Oh, that was fine. <laughs>